What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the Boston Clinic. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the LDBC, the YTBC. We are working. And um, shout out to Fight Hub for the interview with Mike Tyson. Um, it was at an event. Mike Tyson, you know, said that he believed that, you know, Triple G and Canelo, a draw was the right call. And um, there was a lot of people, you know, saying that, um, you know, they, they thought it was a robbery and stuff of that nature. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get to talk the difference between a close fight and a robbery. I think I've done a video on it again. It's probably time to rebuff it and redo it. But, um, but yeah, you know, I, I thought it was a close fight. A lot of people are like, there's no way that, that Canelo won that fight. And those are most people that just think because you come forward, you win a fight. Now, Mike Tyson is one of the most intelligent, um, well-schooled boxing, you know, bo you know, boxers ever, you know. He knows his history. He studied a lot of the smaller guys, um, custom model, you know, got him schooled up pretty well. And, you know, I, you know, just because he agreed with me that it was a close fight, um, you know, not don't make it factual. And, and it ain't going to change a lot of people's opinions. But, you know, a lot of people don't know how to score a fight, you know. You know, like I, I gave my reasoning why I picked Easter Jr. by one point over Fortuna. I said the point they took away was BS. But my, my reasoning was Fortuna never fought a full three minutes. He was always mounting his attack mostly the last minute or 40 or even 35 seconds of a fight. And you listen to my live commentary reaction. I said Fortuna is not fighting full rounds. Reece, Robert Reese Jr. was showing ring generalship, and he was more active in the first two minutes and sometimes two minutes and 30 seconds of a fight. And people were just giving it to him, Fortuna, off of, you know, shoe shining and stealing rounds. But, you know, thinking about Golovkin, everybody scored it for Golovkin because he was coming forward making the fight. But just because you come forward, it doesn't make it effective aggression. It doesn't really mean you showing ring generalship. If the guy is walking you in the shots and hitting you clean and boxing and not getting hit, and hitting and not getting hit, I mean, that's the name of the game. That's the most best ring generalship that you can show. And Golovkin was getting hit, and he was getting given punches out as well. But Canelo was showing ring generalship by, you know, boxing and moving, you know, you know, slipping, dipping, and sliding, and making Golovkin like a job turkey. But he was hitting and not getting hit a lot of the time, you know, and that's the name of boxing, and that's the most ultimate ring generalship you can you can get you can give. Nobody talked about you know Canelo, you know painting Triple G up a lot, you know hitting the body, going upstairs, you know moving and grooving. But then again, Triple G did show a lot of activity coming forward and throwing punches when he finally warmed up. But Canelo was hitting and not getting hit, you know, and that made him you know competitive in the fight. You know, Triple G didn't sell out like he usually did. He didn't go balls to the wall. He didn't put his chin out there. He didn't commit to the body because he was scared of what was going to come in return. Now, for a guy in Triple G who had lead feet and who had cement feet, you know, he looked like a ballerina there. You know, he made Golovkin footwork look ordinary, in my opinion. And uh, that's the first time I've really seen that happen, you know, to that extent. Especially, I wasn't expecting that from Canelo Alvarez. But my point in this video was saying that... um. You know, hopefully somebody prominent like Mike Tyson can die down the robbery talk. It was a close fight. Golovkin knew that he needed a knockout fight in a guy that was very favored in Vegas. Like his boy, like his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya. He said if we, you know, his trainer said if we don't get the knockout, shame on us. It was shame on you. So don't cry about not, you know, getting not getting a decision when you know you need a knockout, you know. So at the end of the day, like Mike said, it was a close fight, a draw. It was fitting. You know, it was fitting. It was two styles clashing. Now, let's see if Golovkin can actually um, make up for, you know, and, and adjust and do some things different to get the knockout or get a, um, you know, get a clear decision this time. You know, I think he's the one that got to make the most adjustments in this fight because he fights the same way every time out, basically. You know, other than Lemieux fighting the Stevens fight, we used the jab and pounding them and then finish them off at the end. He don't have that ability versus <clears throat> Canelo. Canelo isn't a run trick pony. But um, I did one more video, you know, <clears throat> excuse me for the for the fellas. And uh, let me know what y'all think. Interview link is in the description. Podcast link is in the description. Check out, you know, the work I've done with the podcast. Appreciate it a little bit under the weather. But y'all already know I'm always going to deliver. TBC, we gone.